like, I'm not even pretending. Like, this is the nastiest smell I have ever smelled. All right, welcome back to Bet Wars, the show where me and Megan bet each other every week for Monday Night Football dares and challenges, and I won again. This is a very good Thanksgiving for me, and I'm giving thanks to the Buffalo Bills for, well, they pushed, but whatever, you still lost. We're going to do a little Thanksgiving lunch. Now, this is not the best Thanksgiving lunch that you might have ever seen. We have these wonderful turkey hot dogs. Some people prefer a, a ham, a nice ham, which I couldn't find, but I did find this pork pate, which should suffice. It's pork, I don't even, I don't even eat pork. You can't have Thanksgiving without a little sweet potato pie, so we have here a nice sweet potato. Raw. Little garlic, it's very raw. Little garlic just to you know, spice things up. You can't cook without garlic, right? Now for dessert, we had this brownie, but I got a little hungry, so I ate more than half of it. And uh, we're gonna add this wonderful watermelon in as well. And, and a little milk to help wash it down. Oh yes, of course, and the green bean casserole. What is that thing? Oh, that, oh that's really important, you know. You know, some people like to enjoy a little alcohol on the holidays, but some people like a little wine, some people like a little beer. I personally didn't know, so I just mixed them both together. Oh, lovely. I hope that that's enough to get me drunk enough to not remember this. Well, knowing you, maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, let's do it. Let's All get right. this over with. Snap peas, I love those. Probably not the way that I'm about to eat them. <laughs> no need to go light, I'm not gonna mess around. <laughs> it's pretty horrifying. I gotta eat it. I'm not. We go big here. With the peel. Let's make sure we leave that in there. Wait, put more wine in there. Let's try to get Megan <laughs> real nice and drunk. Yes. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, actually. It was probably the pate. It really helped things along. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's a sign. I think we should abort this mission. Ow! There Got we it. Go. It's open. Oh. I'll let you open this. I don't want that near me. It really just keeps on going. Oh. Just a chocolate milkshake. Just a chocolate milkshake. Oh, God. This smells so bad. I. I'm not even kidding right now. Like, I really don't think I can do this. I would have preferred the cat food. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, I took one sip of that and that's all I'm doing. It's There's not like no... back home's Thanksgiving. What is, what is the most prominent taste? I smell garlic. Wait. <laughs> mm mm. Mm mm. That is terrible. All right, here we go. Next week, oh. Monday night, we have a game, which is awful. It's still in my mouth. <laughs> I would rather be playing for the Ravens right now. I think that's that's how we can compare this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, we must make our picks on this game. Now, Megan, usually the winner gets to pick first, which was me. Ugh. Dude, just like smell it. No, I can. Ugh. So, as Megan retches over to my right here, I'm gonna make my picks on this game. Oh. I'm gonna take the Browns minus three plus 105 at Heritage. It smells of like rotten garlic, but the taste is more of like um, like an old foot. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> that's probably where it's at. Yeah, actually, I'm with you. Uh, I took the Browns minus two and a half, minus 112 at Pinnacle. I hope that doesn't end up biting me next week. But I agree with you. The only three offensive players that the Ravens still had left, they, I'm, sorry, I'm, like, I'm like regurgitating while I'm talking. Jeez. 
Can I take a sip of something else? Yeah, that. Uh, Are you, if you, I'll give you some milk if you have another little sip of that. No, I can't. McCown is a is a low, low level starting quarterback in this league. Actually, they perform pretty well. I was researching it and they averaged 25 points per game under mm -hmm. McCown, which is exactly why I'm taking the over here. Over 41, minus 102 at Matchbook. All right, I'm going to disagree with you there, Meg. I'm going to go under here. I know McGowan has done good enough for himself. He has a great rapport with his tight end, but I still don't see this game going over 41, so I'm going under 41, minus 105, also at Heritage. All right, so what's our challenge for next week? Well, we decided that we we're going to just keep rolling with it. Yeah. We we're, like your suggestions. We got yes. a really good one on my Twitter last week. That, we're we're going to come up with something pretty creative with that, definitely. On that note, cheers. Cheers. See you next week. <laughs> this is so nasty.